This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. We have Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. We're at another barn now because Annie's getting ready to go into training level dressage competition and we want her to be comfortable in new surroundings. This is the fourth time we've asked her to stay connected in the canter where she's somewhat on the contact and somewhat on the aids from Trudy's legs. So we don't expect perfection. Again, it's only the fourth time we've asked her for this. It's all right, change directions, try something different. There's not, right now it's just a time where you're just gonna keep doing it until you get comfortable. It's not going to be right in this day. All you're doing is hoping she'll stay connected. Good, try the two, two strides, one rein, two strides, the other rein. Good, praise her. Two strides, get her to step up to one, that's all right, put her into a balanced trot, two steps, one rein, two steps, the other. So what we're doing is we're having Trudy concentrate on asking Annie to step up into the contact of one rein for two steps and then to switch to the other rein for two steps. It helps her from locking up and of course she's asking her to do it from her legs. Good. Get her to step up or she makes the rein alive. If the rein's not alive, you're not asking her to stay connected. Get her to step up into your live rein. Two steps one side or three if she'll do it. It's all right. We don't care how she picks up her canter right now. Good, two steps, two strides. Shorten your reins so her nose is down a little bit more. Right there, there, now she's getting a leap. Praise her a lot. Okay, now you're gonna slow down the canter for a couple strides and then lengthen. Instead of trotting, if you can. If you can, if you can. All right, right, not quite that slow. And this is new for her. We've never asked her to shorten and lengthen her strides before, but now you're gonna do it on purpose as a schooling exercise. Slower, slower, slower. That's all right. And then you're gonna move her forward in the canter before she breaks. I can quite understand, so I'm not gonna punish her. Nope, can't punish her because she's never done this. We've never asked her to shorten their strides in the canter. It's just a game now. You're just seeing if you can keep her connected. Shorten the stride, leg, half halt, half halt, now lengthen. Good, now shorten. Shorten the length of your reins so they're above her withers. Good, now lengthen. Good, that, that was good. She gave you a couple steps, that was good. Good, that's it, Trudy, because she has never shortened and lengthened in her canter. That was really good, wasn't it? Well, we all do. So, I have to give her the little breaks. Yep. Those mind breaks are important. Good. Now play with it at the walk before you canter again. Shorten the steps and lengthen the steps. So she's just acting like a green horse here, looking around, acting like she's never been here. I think she's been here eight times, I'm not sure. But this is typical. She's looking for the rest of her herd, and they're not here. She's all by herself with Susan's horses. That's it. Think two steps short, or do a couple steps short, and then you're going to lengthen her at the trot. So you're going to do a lot of lengthening and shortening now. It doesn't have to be two steps. It can be four steps, whatever you think she can hold. That's right. Now shorten it. Shorten. Steps, praise her. Now lengthen. Good. Now short, keep the spring. Shorten steps. That's right, keep changing directions. And lengthen. When she gets fussy, you're going to lengthen her. Good, shorten. From the shortened trot is what you're gonna ask her to canter from now. You wanna think the short trot for the canter. So you're gonna start teaching her to canter from that shorter trot. That's all right. Take your time, shorten the canter. And lengthen the canter. That's all right. That's all right, She's, this is new to her. She doesn't know, she doesn't know. What good, good, Trudy, I like your attitude about what she's doing. So now you're just gonna add shortening and lengthening when you feel she needs it. That's right, when she gets fussy, send her forward. Praise her. Remember to shorten the steps of the trot before you canter now. Good, there, feel her rebalancing. Good, 
Yep. Now you're going to play with shortening and lengthening. Good. And shorten. That's it. Look at your rebalancing are different and lengthen. And come across the ring, shorten, turn and shorten. And lengthen. Good. Turn across the ring, shorten. That's good, good, good. Try the other lead, or do you need to take a walk break? That's a short one. That was good. <laughs> it's not that you're old, Trudy. You keep forgetting that. The nice thing about this is that all riders realize that this is so much harder than it looks. The average rider can make it like three minutes, maybe, on a horse learning how to do this. This is the harder direction. And to keep the canter. All right. So you're going to have to really keep her connected. You might have to ask for a little bit more on your outside rein, but only you'll know at that second in time. Good, Trudy. Can you believe she can shorten and lengthen at the canter? First time ever. What a good girl, Miss Annie. Keep the activity behind. Remember, if it's not a seven, if you're not doing a seven behind in the dressage test, it's going to be a four in your score. So you just get her used to doing that big walk every step now. Don't worry about it right now. That's not your focus. She's worried about where her head is right now. And I'm like, you've got enough to worry about in the canter to not get fussy about the head at this moment. That's it, that's it. Take your time, slow trot into canters now. Oh, look at the difference in your balance. Did you feel that? Yeah. Did you praise her? Yeah, I feel like I think I want to buck. Praise her, yeah, she's gonna almost feel like she's going to buck. So you're gonna shorten, lengthen, try to go other places than a 20 meter circle. Yep, shorten, lengthen, praise her. That's, it's all right. But you expect, we have to expect her to break. She's never shortened in her canter on this lead in her life. In fact, neither lead, right? So she doesn't really know what you want. Good. Think from the short, if you have to do a couple trots, just remember she's going to canter out of her short trot now. And allow her to make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> That's what Annie thinks about this stuff. She gave me the hoof salute. Good, Trudy. That's it. Start a curve, shorten the steps, but keep your leg on. And then lengthen the steps. It's all right. Go back to your slow trot to ask her for a canter again. There's nothing wrong with what she's doing, especially this is her weaker side. Take your time, slow trot. Yep. See if you can slow down her steps, half halt, half halt. Half halt, center forward. Good, 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 Trudy. That's all right. She didn't know what to do. You're like a cowboy. Well, you're going to feel like a cowboy at first. That's it. Try it a couple more times, and that's probably enough for you today. Take your time. Remember, slow trot. See if you can get her to relax her jaw and pull before you canter. Notice I said see if you can. Because she's never cantered out of this slow trot before, right? So try to supple her before she canters. We'll get her back up is what we're doing. It's all right. Two steps one side, two steps the other. So this is a big change for Annie. She was she's a green coming from the green horse into being. Oh, that was nice. Did you feel how soft that was? So slow trots into long long canters into short canters. That's right. When you feel her getting ready to break, you're going to send her forward. That's all right, doesn't matter. This is new to her, doesn't matter. Trot, don't walk, don't walk, no walking. It's always a trot to a canter. 
Good. Slow trot. Get her more supple. So if she breaks gait, she's not allowed to come back to a walk. Supple. Supple. Good girl. Now when you feel her get ready to break, that's when you send her forward. Good. Right there. Send her forward. And shorten her steps. Supple her. Supple. 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 Two, three. Supple. Send her forward. That's all right. That's all right. It's okay. Yeah, I can. Well, that's great, because that's how you'll be able to fix it. That Until you feel it, you can't fix it. That was very... You're right. That was very good. What did you like about what she did on the left leg? I liked it. She, was, she really was trying to listen to me, but I know there's still that disconnection, because she just doesn't understand. She just does, that's all. But I don't think it's like stubbornness. No. I know. And not only that, the rest of my herd isn't here. Oh, for heaven's sake. I know. Well, it's true with her. Well, that was very good, Trudy.